What's going on y'all, the Brandon Brownson here with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In this episode, we are going to go through the National Park. So, uh, all I did off screen this time was heal, so nothing that interesting to speak of. I get the other guy's Pokedex sticker if I win. I'm the other guy. And where are... I think we're actually perfect if we do the correct uh, yeah, which is the entire reason that we are here. Pay attention, please! Oops, I have to quit thinking like a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to have this. Quick Claw! Quick Claw is actually really awesome to have because it increases its speed by a little bit. And, uh, who do I want to give Quick Claw to? Um... I mean, admittedly, the person who can use Quick Claw the most is Smitty, but I know Stephanie would actually really benefit from having Quick Claw. So we are going to go ahead and give it to her. Give it to her long and hard. Sorry about that. Holy crap, we bought 10 lemonades? Cool. I did not know that. I just kept on kind of hitting the button, so awesome. Now, uh, let's see, I know, uh, I don't know if this is the guy or not, but we're gonna go ahead and battle him. So, actually, I think this is a student, and if it is the student, we, yup, shit. Okay, so me writing out the order and everything did nothing, because I still goofed. I done goofed, son. I done goofed. Let's go ahead and switch out Ormus for Squibbles, who was supposed to be sent out first for this one. But, uh... Shit. Oh well. It's no biggie. And you are going to use Absorb on Squibbles, which is going to do next to nothing. Crap, I meant to look up when he learned his next fire move in between episodes. That was my bad. Oh well, no biggie. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and use Ember on you one more time. And if I'm not mistaken, this kid has a Voltorb up next, so we are going to be switching out for that. Uh, school my jackets, but yup, Voltorb. So this time we actually do want to use... Or you know what? I'm gonna use Stephanie for this one, actually. Because, uh, again, I need to get Stephanie up to a higher level. I feel really guilty having Stephanie as my lowest level of Pokemon, considering how freaking useful she's gonna be soon. How useful she is already, honestly. I mean, uh, Hypnosis Nightmare combination is a damn good one. The only issue is, it doesn't really know any good attacks for when, uh, the Pokemon's awake. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to hate on Pound, but, well, it's an early level move, so, it's, uh, seeing the end of its usefulness, uh, about this time, and, yeah, I need to work on Stephanie so she can learn Confusion, so she can be a freaking beast. But, uh, let's go ahead and Pound here, um, what do I want to talk about in this episode? Some, uh, I feel as if just listening to me talk about what's going on on screen is getting kind of boring. I don't know about for you guys, but I can use a bit of a challenge here as far as things to talk about. We got Stephanie up to level 17, which, what? Got 480 bucks. And, yeah, unfortunately, um, this area has some really good Pokemon, but only during the bug catching contest. For the most, like, during just regular old, uh, uh, like, the rest of the time, it, uh, just doesn't have that great of Pokemon. I mean, it's nothing bad, but nothing substantial. Paralyze Heal! Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and walk around here, because there are some really good items, if I am not mistaken. Uh... What does that lady have? I'm pretty sure that lady's a trainer. I just, uh, can't remember what she is battling with. 
We'll find out in a little bit. But for right now, I think the item is, yep, right here. TM28, which I need to figure out. I think that one's Dig. And uh, in one of the trees here, there's supposed to be a full revive. Ah, whatever. It's nothing that big. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that TM was Dig. Let's go ahead and check real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, yep, Dig. Which, we're gonna be using some of those TMs in a little bit, but I'm probably going to do it off-screen, because, uh, I need to look up who learns what when. Yeah, I can't figure out where the full heal is, so... Fuck it. Nothing that big. I mean, really good item to have, but, uh... You know, I'm not gonna spend, like, a half hour looking for it or anything. Wow, we're only six minutes into this episode? Does not feel like it has been six minutes. Well, it doesn't for me. I'm sure that with my uh, lackluster commentary this time around, uh, you guys are like, really? It's only been six minutes? It feels like it's been a fucking hour. Um, if that is in fact a trainer, and it is what I think it is, we are going to send out Muscle for this one. Because he's Muscle. This is mail I got from my daughter. It cheers me up. No? Uh, okay. I know what trainer that is, though. And for that one, we are going to want to send out Ormus. Because I'm pretty sure that guy has a freaking Raichu. But first, we are going to see one of the Pokemon here. A uh, Caterpie. Uh, level 10 Caterpie at that. Talk about... Talk about useless. Yeah, this area has a lot of bug Pokemon, obviously, since there's a bug catching contest here. And it also has some, uh, uh, poison types, including both mid male and female. Which, I almost wish I would have caught one of those, because, uh, uh, Nidoking and Nido Queen are really good Pokemon to have, but, uh... Again, I feel confident with the Pokemon I have right now, and I know some of the Pokemon I'm going to be getting later, so it's not that big of a... I killed you. I killed you dead. And level 19. Nice. I have to admit, Ormus is a little bit higher of a level than I wanted him to be. Um, not that big of an issue, just like with Smitty earlier, though, uh, I feel as if I should be working on some of the other guys, too. Um, let's see, for this lady right here, I'm going to go on, on a limb and guess Squibbles, it's supposed to be the guy I use here. Um... So, yeah, let's find out. Hello? Why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle? Let's do this! Okay, now what we gotta do is we gotta battle the lady. Look, it's last crisis. Last crisis I found an honest. Okay, good. So we can make the right choice by sending out squibbles. Okay, so let's see. We're just gonna light this Pokemon on fire. Burn, Hollywood, burn! A public enemy reference. Okay. That's new for me. And you were going to use Absorb, which is going to do nothing. Because, uh, you don't have enough badges to train Squibbles. I do, but you don't. And... 199 experience. So close. And then for the Cubone, we are going to send out... They're at the same level, what the hell. Let's please the Itty Mini Smitty Committee for this episode. So there's the Cubone. Cubone is a Pokemon that I really, really like, but I can never find a place for him in my party. Which kind of bums me out. I freaking love Cubone. Um, I'd have to say that he's one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon. Holy crap, that did a bunch of damage. Well, maybe not a bunch, but a hell of a lot more than I thought it was gonna do. And Smitty's pretty close to level 18, that's good. Hmm. 
now we want to switch the muscle because uh, whoever this next trainer is going to be, uh, muscle is going to plow through them once we find him. So where are you at, lady? Where there you, there you at, lady? Then, uh, this is actually going to be kind of a shorter episode, by the looks of it, because I am almost done. Sunkern! No, Sunkern gets a lot of hate, but I actually rather like Sunkern. Admittedly, it's no Smitty, but oh well. My Pokemon is simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my darlings make me in the heat of battle. Alright, so we are going to beat middle-aged soccer mom Beverly. Uh, who's got a snubble, and we are going to beat the crap out of him with muscle, because he's frickin' muscle. And then, uh, we're gonna go back, we're gonna heal, uh, I'm gonna end off the episode. Again, this one is really short, especially compared to the last two, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, I know it's, uh, you know, I don't want to start the gym and then end the gym in the middle of me. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I mean, we're still going to go back and heal, but I'm going to go to the game corner for a little while. Just to kind of show you guys what that's all about, because this is a really short episode so far. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine any other time that I'm ever going to go to the game corner, so... That is what we are going to do. I can probably go to the radio tower, too, but, uh... You know, yeah, we can do that real quick, too. Just to kind of add to the length of this episode a little bit. Because the last two, uh... The rough footage for them, at least, is like 20 minutes each. And we're only at 12 minutes right now, so, yeah. I mean, part of me feels like these should be a little bit shorter than I'm making them, but, uh, I always hear people complain about how Let's Play videos are way too short, so, yeah. I try to make them a little bit longer. Welcome to the ground for years of a cost of thousand dollars for 50 coins. Yeah, I guess I'll spend the money. Here, here you go, 50 coins! Okay, so, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, we're gonna bet three coins on this slot machine. Seven. Seven. Well, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven, seven. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna bet two coins this time. Cherry. Pokeball. Seven. That sucks. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I've never actually made a profit on these. Like, I might win every great once in a while, but is this another slot machine? Ah, the hell with it. Yeah, I know there's more than just the slot machines in this game, so I'm trying to find that. Damn it. Yeah, anytime I've ever gotten anything from these places, I've had to uh, use like a Game Shark or something. I always play the slot machine. It pays out more than others, I think. Yeah, whenever you can actually freaking win, which is never. Oh, so I'm losing to my Pokemon. It was hard to get enough coins for it, but it was worth it. And yeah, the prizes are really, 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 really good in this area, but it's really, 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 really hard to get them. Another slot machine. Damn it. Are you? Pokeball. Oh, hey, we got a row of Pikachus. Cool. We're not gonna blow the profit, though. Well, at least not on this. We are gonna blow the profit, but, uh. You're the prize, lady. Uh. None of those, because I can't afford them. Uh, is this the card thing? Yes, it is. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and make that bet. Woo! Yay! Cool. Okay, so that one's out. We're gonna go ahead and bet on this one. Damn it. 
And we're just going to keep on playing this one until either we run out of money or we run out of, uh... Sweet. Yeah, until we either run out of coins or we run out of cards, because, uh... Yeah, this is really the only way to really make a freaking profit in this. And... damn it. Okay, there hasn't been anything in this row yet, so I'm just gonna keep betting on this one. Sweet. Um, yeah, and then as the, uh, number of cards whittle down, you can, uh, start to make, uh, like, better guesses. Like, when you start off, you want to make, uh, your bets as broad as possible with this game. And then as it whittles down, you can be a little bit more specific. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bet here. Sweet! Okay. I'm actually doing pretty damn well. Okay, now, there hasn't been any from this row yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. Damn. Okay. I'm gonna try this one again. I'm feeling good. Sweet. <laughs> this is actually the best I think I've ever done at any of the slot games. Um... Uh, I'm just gonna go for this one, like, brawn as hell. Damn it. Okay. I'm uh, still gonna go with this one. I think uh, it has the most, so... Shit! Um, let's narrow it down to three. Watch, it's gonna be a four. Nope, one. Cards have been shuffled. Okay, uh... That kind of blows. Cool, we actually won that one. And we are going to stop. Just because I actually made a pretty good profit. And the first rule of gambling. Uh, leave before you start losing money. Don't want to get too cocky here. And we are going to head up to the radio tower real quickly just to get the radio card. Um, because why not? And then we are going to end off the episode. Hi, are you here for the lucky number show? Or check the number ID at Um, yeah, we probably don't have a match. I've legitimately never gotten a match at this. Nope, not a what a shock. I think we get the radio card from this level. Or this lady. Yep, we do. Take a sip. Throat's getting a little apart. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the quiz. Is there a Pokemon that appears only in the morning? I think there is. Yep. Cool. Question number two. Is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at a mart. Um, I think that's correct. Cool. Bullseye. Question three. Does HMO1 contain the move Flash? <sighs> That's HMO5, I think. Um, is Faulkner the Violet City Gym Leader who uses Burn Pokemon? Why, yes, he is! And, final question. Do Golden Rock Game Corner slots have Charmander on their reels? Uh, yes? Shit. Okay, so we gotta do all that again. Blah, 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 blah. Speeding it up a little bit. Just because I already know all the answers. Yes, and... No. And we have the radio card. Which lets you listen to the in-game radio, which sucks, as I mentioned in one of the first few episodes. But anyways, that about does it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Next episode is the one I've been dreading, folks. Next episode, we are going to take on the Goldenrod City Gym. So, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. What did you think of this episode? What do you want me to name my future Pokemon? What should I talk about in future episodes? Although, I'm sure in the next episode, I'm not going to be able to talk about anything, because I'm going to be raging. So, like, comment, subscribe, the Brandon Brownson, a sign announced.